guys. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about a little bit of a, a tips, uh, at, uh, improvisation in G position, if, uh, because a lot of tunes are played in A, right? So that capo second fret. But I play without the capo now. And uh, also, my good fr uh, friend JP Cormier said, Patrick, if you want more subscribers, show your face, dude. Here I am, and it's it maybe it's a kind of good tip, right? Because show emotion, and you're gonna know me better, you know, instead of this all the time. And I'm gonna keep showing my tattoo face. And um, thanks everyone for subscribing. I'm at twelve thousand one hundred and nineteen now. That's I'm so grateful, and my goal is twenty. So. Anyway, on to the lesson. I recently uploaded a lesson about uh, Blue Ridge Cabin Home, and that's the style I want to show you how to improvise in. Um, because a lot of times at Bluegrass Jam, people play a hell of a lot of notes, but not the melody. So, and I like the melody. And this has helped me in, in jam when I don't know the tune and such. So, anyway, like this. That's the singing part, or you can do, you know. You know, stuff like that. And you can throw that in a little bit, but go back to the melody again. But that's not the point. Uh, the point is, this kind of slide into the G. This, this with several tunes. Um, and then it's a T. And try to do that with this kind of slide. And back to the C or... school when I was like 14 we did this and uh, we want to learn to play guitar so this could be a good lesson to try it on <laughs> slide into the G and back to the C or slide and then these notes on the D back to the G or sometimes it's just and sometimes it's G C G and D that's the most common right so Let's take some other famous bluegrass tune, maybe, and do this slide thing. Uh, this can help 
some people out maybe in the bluegrass jam or when you're sitting, sitting home alone and playing your tunes and you know if if it is a tune you really love so much but you don't have a break for it i know it can be quite disturbing to play because it's so fun picking your guitar and do a little nice break to it in between but if you're not used to improvise or don't know how to play the break it can be quite frustrating right so this is you can easily find the singing part there right on a lot of tunes someone out there at least maybe I could take another two but I don't know which one though Exactly like this, but very close to it. And the cross picking. And you can do that. Just down, up, down, down. I can speak and do this at the same time. This can save you a lot of time cross picking if you just practice it. Um, what else can I say about that? Yeah, this is the slide improvisation. How to find the, the, the melody easy. And, uh, to be honest, if I would have done Streets of Laredo and improvised it, I would have differently actually uh, I, I would first I would take a G talking about I don't know what this lesson is gonna bring anyone but now I'm just sitting talking and do whatever I think about so you got the slide part and then figure out the melody this way and just do strumming you don't need to do 
fancy note just to try and Some people wonder how I go about making up uh, improvisation, so this is one way. Maybe another tune without the sli slide, um, and more like I did now on the street of Laredo. Uh, one way. You see I just strum this part, right? I find the, the keynote or whatever, that's my word, okay? Mm -hmm. point but what I was thinking about when I did this was this kind of in the bluegrass tunes so that helped me tremendously when I started and it still does of course and if you want to do this other type of improvisation find the key note the melody note whatever lesson I believe and uh, please please subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost you a thing it's free and you're gonna have a lot of fun this year and I'm gonna show you my face my nice Stetson hat from America <coughs> my nice flat pick nation it's kind of nice huh really like it so enough of that and uh, I see you soon. Mm -hmm.